it's easy if you're a single editor trying to figure out how to edit and, short and store your media, but what happens if you're in a collaborative environment and multiple editors need to work with the same media at the same time? Now you're in what's called shared storage, and there's a number of companies that provide it, but one that's of particular interest is Tiger Technologies, and Angus Mackay is the marketing director for Tiger Technologies. Angus, thanks for joining us today. Glad to be here, Larry. Give us a sentence or two that describes what Tiger Technology does. Sure, we make advanced storage workflow solutions. So rather than just advanced a, oh, storage workflow solutions, you got it. What does that mean in English? Yeah, well, that's it. Most people think of storage as just drives that you can put stuff on. It's, it. it's a hard disk, plugs into the computer, you're done. Yeah. That's it. But uh, if you want to actually get productive in <laughs> your rich media applications, post-production, editing, graphics, multimedia, whatever it is, yeah. you, as you said in your intro, need to collaborate with more than one person. And uh, to do that, you've got a bunch of software applications that are almost a commodity now. Everyone's got every app. You've got to be ready to handle whatever comes in through your door. So that's no mystery there. What gets interesting is how you actually can turn your infrastructure into something that's going to accelerate your workflow and make you more productive with those tools. What does it accelerate your workflow and, and yeah, infrastructure? Sure. What does that mean in English? What am I getting? All right, well, let's imagine you're a single editor, like you said, and you've got your drive plugged in, and then you have a graphics job that you want to farm out to someone. You bring in a graphic artist to come and help you that day. Mm -hmm. Well, you could right-click and share your drive, and then both of you would be using the same network connection to get that footage. Obviously, you're starting to create a bottleneck the more people you start to share that connection with. So your performance goes down and your frustration level goes up. Uh, your productivity goes down as well. Because the hard drive just isn't fast enough to keep up with it. Well, there's the hard drive might be powerful. You might have a really fast disk, but you've got the network connection that's a bottleneck. And you also have the operating system and the file system that come into play. And they inherently might have limitations that prevent easy sharing and high performance sharing. So that's where Tiger comes in. So if I were to buy something from Tiger, am I getting, uh, I'm sure a cable could be obtained from anybody, but I'm getting a, a protocol for transferring files back and forth plus high speed storage plus what else? Well, you can get uh, any or either of those things from Tiger, as a matter of fact, and that's what we're here at NAB showing. So we've been known for a product called Medisan for 10 years, and many people have used Medisan in productions worldwide with a lot of satisfaction. We've got tens of thousands of customers. Um, we've taken everything we've learned in developing Medisan over a decade and turned it into a next generation platform. We're calling it an intelligent storage workflow engine. It's common to all three of our products, two of which are new here at the show. Um, so you can get a software-only version, plug that onto the disk array and the network connectivity of your choice and turn that into a SAN workflow. Or you can buy from us an all-in-one turnkey appliance that's going to have storage, connectivity, and the metadata controller integrated in one with direct connections on the back of it. A plug-and-play SAN in a box, if you will. Let's say that I've got uh, three editors in the same physical environment. Yep. And I want to have all of them have access to the same media at the same time. Mm -hmm. How do I connect them? How do I make sure I've got the bandwidth that I need? And, and what do I need from a Tiger point of view? What I would say is that uh, you want to look at the requirements of each of your editors. We could, let's say they're creative offline editors and they're working with um, Avid or an Apple or Adobe product. They're probably going to be using a lower resolution footage like ProRes or DNX, something like that. So that's not going to take too much of your bandwidth. So uh, you could use a one gigabit Ethernet connection for those. Uh, maybe you have another editor, he's your online guy or your finisher or something like that. He might want a 10 gigabit Ethernet connection so that he can have more streams of higher resolution material and not have any playback hiccups or anything like that. With our solutions, you can actually mix one and 10 gig together at the same time, as well as eight and 16 gig fiber. So, so you have all the flexibility you need. You're gigabit based. Is gigabit Ethernet based? And I wouldn't say based. I'd say we support it amongst uh, other protocols as well, and we mix them. So what other protocols do you support? One gigabit, 10 gigabit Ethernet, eight gigabit fiber channel, and 16 gigabit fiber channel. And what are our price points for these three options? 900 for fiber, uh, 845 for 10 gig, and about 300 for one gig. A Tiger box set up with 16 terabytes, uh, eight connections, 
uh, talk about 28K, and then our... 28,000. 28,000. This includes the storage, of course, and the metadata controller. And with Tigerbox, you have, as I may have mentioned, unlimited client connectivity. We don't charge you for connecting to it. And where can people go on the web to learn more? You can check out www.tiger-technology.com and you'll see all the product information there. That's two words, Tiger, T-I-G-E-R, dash, technology, Tiger, dash, <laughs> Tiger, dash, technology.com. Angus, thanks for joining us today. Thanks, Larry. It's been great to talk to you. I appreciate it.